Before I let you go with this lecture, I just want to kind of go over one little thing that was sort of a side point in the textbook there. And I'm just going to use some of the actual verbiage from the book. You wanted to sort out the business of feedbacks, which you've been learning about in this lecture, with forcings, which is what you learned about in the previous lecture. Remember, feedbacks are processes that respond to changes in the Earth's surface temperature. They are responding. That's the key word here. Feedbacks don't cause climate change. They do not initiate it. Rather, positive feedbacks amplify the change, and negative feedbacks ameliorate or reduce the climate change. For example, water vapor. Water vapor is considered a climate feedback because the amount of water vapor that is in the Earth's atmosphere is determined by the surface temperature of the Earth. The water vapor may, you know, as, as we increase the amount of water vapor, you know, as the planet gets warmer, the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere can increase, and that might result in further temperature changes, but the original temperature change cannot be caused by the water vapor. In the same sort of way, forcings affect climate, but the forcings themselves are not caused by, or are even really affected by climate. For example, increases in carbon dioxide and methane concentrations and so on in the Earth's atmosphere are not caused by temperature changes, they cause the temperature change. Uh, you can't say that the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is get, going up because the planet is getting warmer. The, the, the planet got warmer because the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has increased. Alright, so your book just spent a few paragraphs making sure that you were clear about that difference there. Now we're going to be moving forward in the next lecture to talk more about climate sensitivity. Since there were only a handful of slides there, I don't really have any questions right here at the end. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about what you learned here in part three of this lecture. And uh, now navigate back to Blue Light to move on to the climate sensitivity lecture.